Pirate Radio, made famous by the likes of Wolfman Jack in Radio Caroline, glorified in movies like The Boat That Rocked and Pump Up the Volume, hugely popular in the 60s and the 90s, and it's on shortwave today. Everything you need to know to hear them yourself coming up on Broken Signal. If you want to listen to pirates on shortwave, you're going to need a radio capable of tuning the shortwave frequencies. I personally like to use SDR radio. The cost of entry can be as cheap as around $20. I put a link below to the RTL SDR USB dongle I started with. SDR has an advantage over traditional radios by letting you see a portion of the radio spectrum. This allows you to visually see stations that might start broadcasting even when you are tuned to another frequency. Pirates are illegal broadcast, and since they don't follow the laws of any country, they will transmit anywhere. But they do tend to congregate around certain frequencies. So where can we find pirates? A very popular spot is centered around the frequency of 6925 kHz. But don't just look there. They typically show up between 6880 to 7000 kHz range. Another common range is 4020 to 4185 kHz. But remember, they can and do show up anywhere. Now we know where to look for pirates, you might ask, when do pirates broadcast? Transmissions can happen at any time, but we can increase our likelihood of catching a broadcast. The best time to listen is on weekends, and the best time is around the hours of 2200 UTC to 200 UTC. You could check time.gov for the current UTC time. You have even a better chance of hearing a broadcast around holidays. Strangely, Halloween has historically been a favorite holiday for pirates. I would have thought it would have been Talk Like a Pirate Day. So what can you expect to hear? This is what makes pirate radio great and fascinating. Without having the rules of what your playlist must contain, pirates will transmit whatever songs they like. Usually they will choose a theme, for instance, Hot or Love. And all songs will be about or mention this theme. Or they may just play a genre of music like classical rock, jazz, or blues. Some pirates may not play music at all and instead broadcast a story or talk radio type format. Some will even play strange noises. Anything goes with pirates. Many pirates like to send slow scan television, or simply SSTV, which is transmitting images over the radio. If you have the software to decode the digital signal, you can view the images they send. I have put a link below to a video to learn more about SSTV and how to receive the images. If you've been trying to catch a broadcast but have had no luck, there is a great resource to improve your odds. If you browse to hfunderground.com, they have a great forum with a subform dedicated to pirate radio. Usually when a pirate starts broadcasting, members will post the details about the broadcast, increasing your chances of hearing it. They also have a Facebook group that is very useful. Now let's listen to some examples of what you could hear on Pirate Radio. There's a open frequency, kind of like any port in a storm. Yeah, they get some funny noises there, Brad. Yeah, they get some funny noises. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the show, friends. Go for the radio! Signing off. And uh, thank you for being there. If you actually were 